what I do is pretty simple. They're just mail labels through access that, uh, I don't know if it's Excel, Susan Jenkins ah! does them for me. <laughs> and, um, Are you here? Um, does anybody need to find her in the crowd? <laughs> um, Any? every new client. Uh, actually, it's every closed transaction. I don't even enter, uh, and that's, it's not, I'm not saying it's right, but not even new clients get entered onto the snail list. They're past clients. They're the ones that we keep track of and mail to. Um, and that's how I've managed my business. We have a staff person at Century 21 that actually I just hand her the client folder after it closes and say input it. And the reality was because I was not doing it, I knew I wasn't going to do it. So I just said, hey, I need you to do it for me. It cost me more money than the accountant side of uh, some people on our panel here, but that's okay. I know I'm not going to do it. I'm going to lose business from it. So I just decided to hire somebody separately. Okay, so and you, you, you've all touched on this a little bit too, but what, let's go back. Delegate out. Um, so you, some of your database management, you're delegating out. We know you like to do everything on your own, but think that through. If you have a, if you have, a, I don't know, a high-end listing, are you buying extra marketing? Are you doing anything special? If you have, if you're in a, a time frame that you're, you are really swamped, will you? Share a client? Will you? you know, we'll talk about that. What are you delegating? Like think about this last month. What have you had to share with somebody else to help you get that done in the time for it to get done? The older I get, the more I like a vacation. And so when I go on vacation, I um, I have to give leads that come in that are people I know. My team gets leads from the website all the time, so I, they, they do get that. But the people that I know sometimes, I probably hold a little tighter. But if I'm going on vacation or I'm swamped or I had Liz um, show a house over in Carmel because she lives there. I mean, so I do you know, make use of that. All, all, all three of them have helped me a lot. Um, I have recently outsourced blogging. I am a huge blogger. It creates great SEO for your website. I've been blogging since 2008. And it's been very hard to let go of that. Um, but, and I, and I had two people that did not work out at all. And so now I've got a third person, so hopefully that will work. I'd like to talk to Cindy eventually about blogging because I'd like to find out what it is that she blogs on. And because you have to come up with some good material to do that. Um, and I think that's a great idea. As far as my delegating, uh, it's just worked out perfectly for me because uh, with my son John joining my team, I don't feel badly about giving him the leads and having him get that commission. So uh, that's been helpful. Um, I guess I'm selfish. I never wanted to give away my clients. And I didn't want to lose my clients. And it's not really a money thing. Uh, giving away a client is tough because I think you lose that relationship. And I think that's what I like most about this business is having the relationship with people. Um, uh, delegating right now, I've had uh, difficult some difficult transactions, difficult people, um, difficult inspections, and um, it was becoming a problem between me and the seller, so I did put uh, my son John on task to work with those people, and whatever it was about his personality, and you'll find people on your teams, they have the right personality to do certain jobs, it's worked perfectly. He's getting this all put together. And um, so uh, all kinds of different people we can delegate to. We just need to find the right ones in our team. All right. I delegate my uh, internet leads. Uh, again, because I'm not a strong follow-up person as far as emails, tracking like that. If an internet lead comes in, what I would do in the past is I would take the lead, I'd send out an email to them one time, they didn't reply. And then I looked 90 days later and I never replied again. So it was kind of silly. So I got to the point where I would take what I was weak at, give to my team members and say, here, you deal with it. 
because they're much younger. Like I'm old, the old guy on the team, they're 23 and 35. So my 23 year old, he's internet savvy on everything. He wants to do everything on the internet. I don't want to do anything on the internet. I want to meet people face to face. So I realize that's a limitation. So I just give it to my younger team member who's going to be much more internet savvy. He's much worse than I am on face to face meetings. So um, that's how I run my business is to realize who I give what to and try to recognize their strengths. Okay, I, and only, I've only heard blog and email. So talk about your social media presence, Facebook. LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Do you use them? Do you not use them? Which do you love? Which do you not enjoy as much? I don't use any of them. I don't have the time to use any of them, and I don't want to learn how to use them. <laughs> social media. Um, I think one thing that's helped me is I've connected with realtors across the country. Um, I am friends with a lot of them on Facebook and I am working with a client right now that came from ActiveBrain. So it's it's also free um, if, you, if you just do the basic subscription. So I th those are all good. I think social media plays into our business right now. I think, you know, again, one out of 12 people will, that you know will sell a house. And if you're in front of them, you're likely to get that transaction. 